who start something with somebody and they're not going to be there in the finish line with you. Right? They're not going to be there in the finish line with you. So I've been here two years straight, and I'll be honest with you. I've seen hundreds. I've seen 50, 20, 30. I've de-ranked multiple times, right? I got my rank back, and still, I don't rely on you guys to build my business. I go and build my business. So if I got some builders here on the call, right? I, if I got some people that build this business, I'm going to tell you straight up, I don't need you to build this business with me. I'm going to let you guys know that here on this call, respectfully to everybody. I don't need you to build this business because at the end of the day, I signed the contract, right? I decided to do this, just like every single one of you guys decided to be here on this call, okay? So real quick, who has been here the last 30 days? Who has been here the last 60 Me. days? Who has been here the last 90 days, right? Who has been here? Who has been here the last six months? Who has been here the last seven months? Who has been here the last year? Who has been here with me two years, right? There's only one of them that's here on this call right now. It's my brother, Dean. Been with here with me strong for almost two years. Dean has saw me go from zero to 100 real quick. Then the second person is my brother, Cedric. Then is my sister, Emma. <laughs> That's been with me. Then Mauricio, and then the whole nine, everybody in here. So don't get it confused. You feel me? Because I just wanted you guys to know, if you, even if you want brownie points here on this call, right? The real, real, real OGs. Shout out to my brother Dean. He seen me here from from zero to a hundred, figuring it out, starting with a fresh new team. But I'm gonna bring you guys to memory lane, okay? I'm bring you guys to memory lane. But before I start this call, you know, I want to drop some gratitude in the chat box, and I really want to thank. Every single one of you guys for being here on this call. Even if you're on my team, you're not on my team. I'm, I'm grateful that you're here because this call right here, all 15 plus of you guys that's here, I'm going to post this on YouTube too. Everybody that's here is going to get re-inspired to actually do this, right? Because I'm going to be honest, the last nine days, 11 days I've been out here, I don't even know how many days, right? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've had no cell phone, right? And I still have found a way to contact my team I still have found a way to trade. I still have contact, made a way to have my e-commerce store up and running. I still figured out a way to make it happen, right? Now, you know, in the last three weeks, you know, I got some tragic news that happened in my life. And, you know, it, it's, just, it's just perfect to run this call here for you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're stuck right now. If you feel like you're stuck, drop it in the chat box. Like, yo, that's me. Be real with me. Right. If you're here on this call, and you feel like, damn, bro, I'm not grateful enough for the position that I'm in. Or like, yo, everything is wavy. Everything is lit. I'm good. I don't need nothing to worry about. Well, let me tell you something. If you're good, or you're not to worry about. You will not be here on this call. You will not be here part of this team. A hundred percent. But before I start this call, right, and before I start this journey, because it's going to be tears here on this call. Right. There's going to be confirmations here on this call. There's going to be here on this call, the ha-ha moment, like, damn, bro, I knew it, right? And I'm, I'm here to tell you guys, let's drop a moment of gratitude real quick, right, in the chat box, because I am truly grateful and honored to be able to be the leader of every single one of you guys, to be able to be the coach to some, to some of you guys that are, to every single one of you guys that's here, to be able to mentor some of you guys here. I'm extremely, extremely grateful. You know, I'm extremely grateful for God. I'm extremely grateful for the connection that we have. I'm extremely grateful for all my mentors because if it wasn't for Nano, if it wasn't for Natalia, right? If it wasn't for all the mentors that I have now here today, who knows if I still would have been able to do this, right? I'm super grateful for Iron Mastery Academy for allowing me to learn this knowledge and learn this information, learn systems, learn about business, learn about a thing that I always dreamed about my whole life. And it's to be different, right? To learn skill sets, to be unique, because that's me. I'm unique. I'm different than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So being able to accomplish that I Am Mastery Academy, when I joined here, it was a transition that I was going through my life. And it got me back to where I was supposed to be. So two years in the making, I'm going to get started here with this call, fam. I was going to go IG live, but now nah, let's just keep it here in the house. Whoever missed this call is cool. 
I'm gonna lock, I'm gonna lock the meeting because whatever stays right here, this is with us, you know, and you guys are the special ones that are here. And I'm gonna give you guys also a play that we're gonna run as an organization, things that we've been cooking up and things that we've been able to accomplish together. So all 16 plus of you guys, get your notepads ready, right? Start taking some notes because I'm gonna just speak straight from my heart, you know, and this call right here is something that was special to me. It was, it was my creator that gave it to me. You know, I was meditating, finished meditation. I went to get ready and he was like, man, look, it's the 29th run the call. It's the end of the year. Just let everybody really know how you really made it happen. Right, because I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna bring you back to memory lane, and you know when I when I was talking about this that I wanted to do this call, I actually talked to Emma. You know, if you guys don't know Emma, Emma is one of the right. I call her the right hand, the master, the mastermind of the organization, right? And you know, she always brings great ideas to me. She always is there to confirm certain things, right? And within the last couple of days, couple of weeks, I've been out here in, in, in uh, Canada. She was the one that told me straight up. She said, yo, I came to Arizona, right? We did whatever we had to do to make happen so Emma could pull up to Arizona, right? And she said, yo, I pulled up to Arizona. Now I want you to come out here to Canada. Let's run this up, right? Let's put Canada in the map. Let's put Canada in a position where everybody in Canada and everybody in RMP can be able to not only have an experience of you, bro, but, you know, bro, let's go international, KD. Let's make it, let's make this happen, right? She's here in the room with me, by the way. So, you know, shout out to Emma. Drop some Emmas in the chat box real quick because she was really the main, main person that put this play in my head. Like, she was like, yo, let's make this happen, right? Everybody in the States, Arizona, they got you 24-7. Orlando got you 24-7. Miami got you 24-7. Everybody in the States got you. Even my brother Cedric, I haven't gone to him yet, but you know, we're going to make some adjustments 2023 to make this happen. But she was like, yo, let's go international. 2023, let's actually do this Jordan year, right? And you know, when she, when we said that, I was like, you know what? You're right. Let's make it happen. So drop some Emma's in the chat box, right? And here, the name of this call is The Journey Has Clues. And this is the blueprint, okay? You guys probably going to be here on this call and probably heard me say this hundreds and thousands of times, but you didn't see it this way, right? So I want you to be here on this call and be locked in with me, right? If you're locked in with me, drop a lock in in the chat box, right? I don't want you to watch this video. I don't want you to be here on this call and be on another call, be trading or be driving, be doing this, be doing that. Yo, lock in with me, right? Because that was the biggest thing that I had to do in this journey. This journey, I had to lock in. I was in a position where I was always distracted, right? I was, it, I was doing calls and I was doing something else on the other side, right? And I'm going to be honest here with you guys. These next 30, 45 minutes, I'm going to be here on this call. I want you to give me your divine attention. Because as soon as I started focusing and giving my divine attention to my people, everything else started changing around me. That's a bar for you. Right. A lot of you guys here are building this business and hearing this journey. And I get it behind those closed doors. Life is not it's, it's going crazy. I get it. A hundred percent. I've been there. Right. I've dealt with that. But guess what happened? Because I'm so dedicated and because I only follow one course until I was successful. Right. And I was being myself. I started to focus on one thing. And I'm here to tell you on this call. There's a lot of you guys, a lot of you. Right. A lot of you that right now behind the screen, your camera's off and you're doing something else. Am I right or wrong? I'm right. Because that used to be me. When my camera was off, I was doing something else behind the scenes. Right. I wasn't really locked in. I didn't know that my mentor was really serious about me when I first got started here in this journey. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. 100 with you. You might be looking at me like, oh, yeah, I don't take KD serious. Bet what I want you to take me serious. Because 2023, I've been doing this for two years already. 2023, I'm not playing no more games. No more games. No more games. There's no more, oh, Mr. Nice. No, none of that. None of that. None of that. Right? I used to be the same way with my mentors. Until I had that clicking moment. You know when that clicking moment happened to me? About 78 hours when I got started in this new journey. 78 hours when I got started within this journey, I had Nano blowing on my phone. Blowing on my phone, being more grateful 
for me than the people that I was around. Doesn't it remind you of somebody? Doesn't it remind you of me, me blowing up your phone every single day, telling you how grateful I am for you, right? Just know that you're following somebody's footsteps that's doing something with themselves. Just know that the contact me, you having been here on this call, me contacting you is very important because I didn't know that when I first got started in this journey. When I first got started in this journey, I just thought it was another company. And I'm going to break that journey down here for you guys. But I want you to be locked in with me. Drop a lock in in the chat box if you're really locked in. You see, when I keep it real, we lose a lot of people in the chats. We lose a lot of people in the call. We already lost two people, right? They were not meant to listen to this, to, to this message. You feel me? So with that being said, I'm going to let my creator speak through me, through this journey. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram right here. You guys can follow me. It's him, KB. I will never ask you for money. I will never send you no link to get started with me. I will never tell you, yo, yeah, join this journey with me and send you a link. No, I will contact you personally. I will send you my personal number, okay? Just so you guys know. So the journey has clues, right? Journey has clues. This is my story. So my name is KD. I'm 26, 27 years young. I'm originally from New York City, guys. I grew up in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, growing up, you know, I grew up with two beautiful women, my mother and my sister. And when I was growing up, you know, my mother and my sister, they were never home. So I had no male figure to look up to, but my teachers, the only people that I looked up to was my coaches, my teachers, mentors that I had for karate class and things like that. Right. These are the people that I admire. These are the people that I was like, man, I'm just going to be just like them. Right. At the age of 12, you know, I got in trouble by following my cousins and my mom sat me down and told me, are you going to focus in school or you're going to start skipping school? And I was like, I'm going to start focusing in school. She put me into sports. I started really focusing on sports. I love the game of basketball. I love the game of baseball. I love the game of football. I started really focusing on it. And I walked away from football, but I focused on basketball and baseball. Basketball and baseball actually showed me a different world where it got me into college. At the age of 18, I graduated college early. I had an opportunity to go play at a very big school in Connecticut. And because... My mom didn't trust me, right? Because my mom didn't see the vision where I was actually going to be. My mom said no. And because I was underage, I couldn't sign for the contract, right? So I had to wait a year. So I decided to go to a community college. As I was working, before I did anything, I'm going to tell you my whole life story so you guys know who you guys are following and exactly know where I come from. I come from humbly beginnings, fam, right? And not only that, but growing up, I was a waiter. At the age of 15, I started working. Right, I was a waiter. I was actually for the business called Johnny Rockets. I don't know if you guys ever heard, heard Johnny Rockets, but I used to work for Johnny Rockets. I was a waiter. I was there for three years. When I turned 18, I walked away and I decided to go to Maine you know, University. I decided to go to Maine. I went to Maine. I played basketball there. I played baseball there. And it wasn't easy to get on the team, right? I was a walk-on, so I had to try out. I got in into the team. It was a whole journey for me to get there. I ended up, you know, leaving that school and going to another school. It's called Central Maine, where I actually won two national championships. And that got me into Southern New Hampshire. When I went into Southern New Hampshire, now I had a decision to make, either continue to play basketball or just play baseball. So I decided just to play baseball. As I started playing baseball, we ended up, I ended up finishing school. I graduated school with a bachelor's degree in business, a minor's in teaching and coaching, a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. And I couldn't find a job in the field that I really wanted to go to. So what I did was I decided to just work. Okay. I was doing Uber. I was doing DoorDash. I was just working. Okay. And I'm going to walk you guys through memory lane, right? I was just working, 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 working every single day. I was distracted. I really didn't know what I wanted to do out of life. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I decided not to do the criminal justice degree is because I passed the physical test, I passed the, the, the exam that you got to take, and it was signing day, and it just didn't feel right. I don't know if you guys have ever done something that doesn't really click or even feels right. And you know what I decided to do? I decided to walk away. I was like, man, you know, I'm only 21 right now. In the next couple of years, if the time comes, I'm going to do it, whatever, right? I walked away. But I was looking at the ticket of the price that I was going to get paid instead of just looking at the career. So that's why I decided to change my mindset. And I was like, man, this is not for me right here, right? Because I'm only looking at a price tag. And I want you guys to understand this, right? You're not a price tag. 
you're not a price tag. Remember that. Okay. Now think about it. At the age of 20, 21, I had that mindset. Yo, I'm not a price tag. Yes, I got the degree. I got the paper right here. I could go apply for any job and I could get any good paying job because I graduated college, right? That's the story they told us growing up. And I did it. And that's okay, right? Even if you're here on this call watching this video, like, yo, you're still in college. You're doing your thing. Hey, guess what? I finished college to make my mom happy. But then I found another way that I could do it, right? Now, as I was growing up, I was working. I had like two, three jobs at the same time. I was doing Uber. I was doing DoorDash. And it wasn't for me. I was like, man, this is not it right here, right? This is not it. I just saw my value of work just go and go and go and go, right? Two years went by. Now I'm 23, I'm going into 24. Now I'm seeing my friends joining companies. I'm seeing my friends traveling the world. I'm seeing people on Instagram going crazy. I'm like, man, it's my time to really step up, right? Who here feels that they're following somebody, right? Who's here following with me? Who's here following somebody right now that they're like, man, that person is lit. I want to be just like them, right? Just some sevens in the chat box, <clears throat> right? Now I'm, I'm here to tell you this. That Instagram, that's fake. A lot of people won't be on TikTok, on TikTok with you on Instagram. They won't be real with you. They won't. They would just show all the flexing, all the this, all the that, all the that. Yeah, trust me. I figured it out. Right? So that's what I did. Right? I went and figured it out. I started following people I wanted to just be like. I started following people that I was like, man, this is the man, this is the person that I'm gonna be just like. But then I made one decision. By the age of 23, I made this decision right here, going into my 24th year, right? I'm going to show you guys pictures, okay? You could take screenshots. You could do whatever you want, right? But I made a decision when I turned 24, right? I got my own place. I went and got my own apartment. I love lions and tigers, if you guys don't know. Yep, That's, this, used to be my, this used to be my house right here. KD's house. I had this house two years ago, all right? Two and a half years ago, I had this home. This is where I started my first two businesses. This is when I took the leap of faith and I decided to invest into myself. I decided, I was like, man, I'm sick and tired of the sick and tired, bro. I don't want to do Uber forever. I don't want to do DoorDash forever, bro. I don't want to work for somebody else forever. You know what? Let me invest into myself. I invested into my love, my art, I love to create. I love to design. I love to draw. If you guys didn't know that about KD, well, here you know. I love to create. I love to do fun things. And I love fashion, right? And I decided to make a decision off my laptop, right? That Dell laptop, that was a gift from one of my coaches two years before that for college. That Dell laptop got me my first business, right? I'm going to bring you guys to memory lane. That's why I put memory lane in, in this right here, right? The training is not even starting. I'm just starting with my story so you guys can know who you guys are following. You feel me? From this, from this right here, from memory lane, I'm going to bring you guys here real quick. I put some pictures together and I'm going to show you guys. From memory lane, you know, I have my own place, own apartment, started my own business, okay? That was the first business I started was my clothing brand. But I had one distraction and I had one, one thing that I was always in love with. It was smoking hookah, right? Drinking, vibing, being with the wrong crew. This was me 24-7 until I went to my first event. Now, this year, I made the decision to become a full-time entrepreneur, right? I walked away from my nine to five. I wasn't clocking in for nobody. I was like, man, I got to live this life, bro. My business was doing amazing numbers. I walked away from my nine to five way too early. And I opened up a store. I don't have no pictures on my, I'd have pictures on my store and stuff like that, but it looks crazy. And I don't want you, I don't want you guys to expose me. You feel me? So I won't show those, but I'm going to show you guys pictures so you guys can see that everything that I've been talking to you guys about for the last year, two years, three months, four months, nine months, 90 days, 30 days, two days a week of anybody that's been following me. I'm just being vulnerable with you, right? Just to let you know that you guys got a real, like someone that started from zero and look what I've been able to do. So in this moment right here, I walked away from my nine to five, right? I opened up a store. I was running two businesses at the same time. This business right here, I was running my clothing brand. And I was also, I got started with another company, a travel company, 
right? That travel company I got started with, they brought me to my first event, my first event in Camp Coral, where I actually spoke in front of 300 something people. When I went to this event, it was a clicking moment for me. When I went to this event, it was a clicking moment. I was like, damn, bro, like I came from somebody that was just working, working, working. I decided to invest into myself and wow, look at the doors that's been able to open. Not only that, but how many people were in the room asking me questions and I felt important. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I felt like I was back in college days, back into my basketball games, baseball games. After the game, all the fans coming up to you, kids, this and then the third. That's how I felt. I was like, wow, I can actually be somebody. I can actually make my mama proud now, right? And not only that, this picture right here, I'm showing it to you to tell you what the next picture is about. This picture right here, walking out of this, this the, the meeting, walking out of a four-day convention that we had, I saw the power of events. And I was like, bro, events recreate the story for you. Events really make something happen when you actually get rewarded for the work that you have done in private. So this event right here, the company got started, boom. The company was out for about seven, eight months. I really didn't have no history of the company. I just, I just got started because one of my friends hit me up and was like, yo, bro, I saw you walked away from your nine to five. Hey, bro, let's, let's start this business together. I started, I was like, bad, bro, let's do it. After this event, guess what happened? Flashy obstacles started to come, okay? And what do I mean flashy obstacles started to come? This is part of my office that I had right? That's me. That's KD, right? Um, I started doing, this is, this is like a little, a little long ago. Um, I really tapped in after this, the company shut down. When the company shut down, I had a sour taste in my mouth. That was like, man, I don't know if I want to do another company ever again. And this summer right here, COVID happened right after that as well. The company shut down, COVID happened. I had to shut down my store. I went through a transition in my life when I was like, yo, like what else can hit me right now, right? And I shut down my store, I shut down everything. And I was like, man, what is next for me? And I didn't know what was next, but I knew that if I put my, my hand and I put my word into my creator, he was gonna make things happen for me. And you know what I decided to do? I was just home for like 30 days, 60 days stuck in the bedroom, emotionally, physically, mentally, I was going through it. Cause think about it, right? I walked away from a nine to five. I started my own business. Year is it's running six, seven months, right? Good, doing amazing numbers. I decided to invest into another company that I didn't even know about. Company shuts down. Now COVID happens. I got to close down my store. I got to have a real conversation with my mom. Like, yo, mom, look. And my mom was like, yo, you see, I told you, I knew it. She was already against me for me walking away from my nine to five and not pursuing the career that I went to school for. And then this picture right here defined it all. I was like, man, you know what? I'm not going to let nothing stop me. 2022 is going to be the year. 2020 is going to be the year where I'm going to take, I'm going to be a savage. And that's when I decided to do trading. And I had another business that I started and I was running up while I was doing credit. I was doing credit and trading at the same time. Okay. I started a credit repair business. One of my closest friends, right? He introduced me to I Am Mastery Academy. I got started I Am Mastery Academy August 31st. August 29th is crazy because today's the 29th. August 29th, 2020, I got started with I Am. And we took this picture right here in my office. We was grinding all day. I was telling, I was like, yo, bro, I don't know. Like, you can see it in my face. Like, I was going through it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, I don't know if I want to do this, bro. Like, I don't want to put my, my heart and soul into another business. I'm just going to run it up with credit, bro. Let's continue to run it up with credit. I'm a do fly wave. And I was like, bro, let's do it. You know why I got started with I Am? As soon as I got started with I am, when I was, I was just going through some pictures and I wanted to show you guys, this was the company right here, right? It was, it's Xperia, right? It was a CBD company. I was close to reaching this goal right here with the company in a matter of six, seven months. And it was dope. And then right after this event, everything shut down and <clears throat> I got started with I am. When I got started with I am, I was here for about a couple months. Let me see. If I could show, oh, you guys couldn't even see anything. Shoot. Screen is black. Damn, my fault. So this is what I wanted to show you guys right here, right? I got started with the company. I went and spoke at the event. Then let me show you this right here. This is the picture that I was telling you guys about. I went on late into the company. I still got my other business up and running. I apologize for that. The screen wasn't sharing. And then the company shut down. 
30, 60 days. I was going through it mentally, financially, and spiritually. I had to close down my business. And then I started 2020, August, August 29th, I started here in I am. And I also had my other business already going with my credit repair business. So I decided it was like, you know what, let's just trade and do credit. Let's get right. Right. And I got started with the company. I got started with I am. As I was doing I am, right? Shout out to my brother Neno. I told Neno straight up, I got on the phone with him and I'm gonna show you guys here so you guys can be able to see, right? I told my brother Neno straight up, I was like, yo, bro, if you're really serious about us of growing this New England team, fly out to our city, right? He flew out to our city. Shout out to my business partner, Jarrell, that introduced me here to I am. Um, I came, Neno came out, he came out from Tulum. When he comes home out from Tulum, I was just two and free when he decided to come out, right? He came out, I was only two and free. I'll be honest with you guys. I had a P-150 under me. My other personal enrollment, my brother Shamari, he was about to just hit P-150. I signed up my cousin, Chris. He came into this on fire. He was about to smash P-600 when Neno pulled up to the house. But it just didn't feel right. I'm going to be honest with you guys, right? It didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. Because I wasn't, I wasn't locked in, right? I was mentally and spiritually not in, right? I did my first event. Nano flew out. I did my first event. Yo, let's launch our business. This is what you should post, KD. The whole nine, I was like, bro, let's run it, right? So, <clears throat> <clears throat> my fault. So this picture right here. This picture right here, I got started, right? I already had like three, four days in the business, my fault. Three, four days in the business. I already had a P-150 under me. I went to and free from the start. People were ready to hit the next level, hit the next rank. But my thing was, I was like, yo, I didn't understand this whole thing. I started understanding everything once Nano flew out to our city, right? Nano flew out to our city. He comes out, I've been fighting, mind you, I've been following Nano for the last two years. So I started this new journey two years ago, right? And I've been following this man right here. And I got the opportunity to work with him. He was at my house, our grind house. This is our grind house right here. We had, I, this is our grind house that we had in Manchester, New Hampshire. And this man comes out and I'm like, yo, wait, hold up. I hit you up two years ago, bro, to work with you. And I wasn't ready. They say when the student is ready, the teacher appears, right? I wasn't ready to work with Neno. 100% with you. I wasn't ready two years ago to work with him. And I had to go through the things I went through within my journey, finish college, start my own business, work, 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 fail my business. A company had to shut down for me to receive this angel right here. I'll be honest. When, when Neno came to my house, everything just started to make more sense. Everything just started to click, but I told you, I still wasn't there mentally. F mentally, spiritually, I wasn't there. Physically, I was there. Financially, I was there. But mentally, I wasn't there. I was just doing this thing just to do it, right? Neno gave me a game plan. I executed the game plan. Game plan, he gave me was with my morning routine. I decided to fly out to Dallas. Decided to fly out to Dallas. I decided to do a game plan. I stayed up all night in Dallas. Everybody went out to the club, turned up. I stayed at the crib. I was game planning right here, right? Yeah. One of my boys that I went to college with, my boy T, he's like, yo, KD, let's run this up. I I'm with you, bro. He took this picture for me, right? Everybody everybody that I went to, I went to support my, my business partner at the time. And he went to go launch. I was just there. I was hitting the phones. We did an event. You can see we're celebrating. I'm showing you guys all this so you don't see was crazy. You know, this is me at 17 working at Johnny Rockets. You know what I'm saying? So you guys don't see, like, I'm capping to you. Everything that I said to you within my story is here, right? <clears throat> we grew up the, the business out there. I signed up an NBA player that was playing for Dallas. Yo, welcome to, the family. welcome to the family. Signed them up. I hit P600 this day. I hit P600 13, 14 days with me being in this business. Right. Then we were so excited that we got so much momentum that we decided to come back home and rerun it up. Right. And this is when I really like everything was making sense. And I was like, wow, bro, I'm pouring into people. I have hundreds of people coming to my house. 
you know, we're celebrating, everybody's good, we're running the play, right? And my brother goes platinum 1000, and then here comes the addiction again. This is KD's addiction right here, right? Hookah and drinking. That's all I used to do, hookah and drink. That's it, right? I'm being vulnerable with you here on this call because there's somebody here on this call that needed to see the start. Like, yo, damn, look what KD was at. Look at the decisions that he made to be able to be this person he is today, right? Decided to continue to do this, run this up. I was doing my credit business. I was doing this, right? And then I really started to focus and I went out and hit Platinum 1000. <laughs> I hit Platinum 1000. Platinum 1000, I hit that in 45 days. 45 days and being an IM, I hit Platinum 1000, right? Hit Platinum 1000. I'm going to be honest, I hit Platinum 1000 by mistake because mentally, spiritually, I wasn't in. I'll be honest with you. This is what I was doing. I was signing people up, trading HFX days. Let's trade, boom, 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 no direction, no onboarding system, no guidance, nothing. <laughs> I hit this off leverage. I didn't know what I was doing with you. I'm being vulnerable here with you because there's a lot of us that are just signing people just to sign them up, right? There's a lot of us that are just like, hey, man, come and join this business, but what direction are you taking this person to? That used to be me. That used to be me, family. That used to be me, man, right? And you know what I decided to do? I lost my Platinum 1000. I lost it. As soon as I hit it, I was planning 1,000 for like two weeks. <clears throat> I lost it. We went on tour. We went on a retreat to Miami. When we go on a retreat to Miami, I meet everybody. It's my little cousin right here. He went Platinum 600 on this tour, right? We did a, we did a lock-in in Miami, something similar that we're going to be doing in Miami coming this January for Break the Code event, right? I got the opportunity to be on tour with Neno, work with him, meet Eric Zoyer, meet Mina. This is Mina, met her. She was in Monet at the time, right? Met my brother, Michael Talks. Met so many amazing people, right? Decided to go on tour. I was on tour right here, right after Miami. I was in Miami for a week. From Miami, we had a retreat in, in, uh, in Houston, Texas, right? A retreat. This is our retreat. You look at this retreat and you're like, what? This mastermind right here was the one that changed it for me. This mastermind right here, this retreat that I went to, invested into myself to just go and make it happen, was when I really started reading. I started reading, guys, 100% with you. Nano used to call me every single day. Yo, did you read today? Mind you, this is from the whole, it took me a whole month for me to actually take my mentors mass serious. <laughs> for real. It took me 45 days for me to be, yo, damn, my mentor is right, bro. This book right here changed the game for me. This book used to speak to me, <laughs> speak to me, smack me in the face. Like, damn, I'm a terrible leader. I'm a terrible person. That's what, those are the words that I used to say to myself, right? Started reading. I bought two books in this journey. On the road, I bought two books and I started and I bought a journal. And when I bought this journal and this book, this changed everything for me. Personal development started to become a thing, right? As I was on tour, we went back. We was in Houston. From Houston, we went back to Dallas. This is Dallas right here. I'm showing you guys all this so you guys can be able to see, right? I got my P1000 back in Dallas. Got P1000 back. It was lit. It was a movie. Got to speak at this event with my brother, Nick. Shout out to my brother, Nick. That's when Nick hit Chairman 10, right? And... You know, I decided to go back home. I stayed out there for a little bit. We decided to go back home and actually really grow this. I popped another P1000. Later that, that, that like two weeks later, my brother Chris, he won P1000. He's him right here running the play at our house. This is our house right here running the play, running it up, breaking down a compensation plan, breaking down a, a structure. Like now things started to make more sense now, right? I went on tour, we had a Halloween party. After Halloween, I went to go see my family. And this is when I really decided to make a decision. I was like, man, I really wanna do this big. I really wanna take this to the next level, right? Second time, Neno came to our house. This is when I met Chele, right? Changed everything for me. When they came here, our team, like I'm gonna be honest with you guys, our team, we didn't work together. Everybody saw like, damn, yo, KD's running it up. 
KD's doing this, KD's doing that. And like, there was a lot of separation within our team. And I'm going to be honest here with you guys here on this call, right? I know a lot of you guys are getting DMs. I know a lot of you guys, people are reaching out to you to go do different things like credit, right? Go do different things like another company. Well, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, right? 100% with you. The same thing happened right here in this moment in my business. In my business here, I had to make a decision. Do I want to make this happen or I'm just going to make it happen? I was just making it happen in here when Neno came. But when Neno came, it gave me a different perspective because Neno saw and Chela saw, yo, who really wants this? Who's really hungry? November 28th, they saw my hunger. They saw that my whole team was there, 35 plus people in that room. Neno ran a training. It's called the flower training. One of my favorite trainings. This is the training that I'm going I'm to run for in, in, in uh, Toronto. I'm going to run the flower training to everybody in Toronto because everybody needs to know and wake up and see that there's a journey, right? Not the destination. There's a journey for your destination, right? He ran this training. First time he ran this training ever was to our team. And that training just hit the clicking moment for me. But as I start, as they were there, you know, we were growing. We were making things happen. We went to our favorite spots. Nano came through for like three, four days. I started, I continued to launch, 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 launch. And then the biggest thing happened for me, right? I had a lot of distractions. And I talk about this moment all the time to you guys. This moment right here was everything for me. I had a lot of distractions from November 28th all the way into New Year's. I had a lot of distractions. I started hanging out with old friends. People left my business. I deranked from Platinum 1000 all the way to Platinum 150. I had about like four or five people in my business. I was like, man, this is not for me. I don't think I'm going to do this, bro. I don't think that I, I don't think I'm shaped to do this. Like, nah, this is not for me. I was I was ready to hang the jersey up until Nano called me, right? I had the wrong people in my ear. I had the wrong information. I, was, this is, I wasn't even doing my morning routine. I wasn't even going in mornings with Nano. None of that, right? That's why I said to you guys here on this call, you may feel like you're stuck right now, but guess what? I'm here to take you back out of that stuff and let you know that I was in the same place as you when I first started this journey. Mind you, I got started in August, August, September, October, November, December, January, five, six months in into this journey, I was ready to quit. Until Nano gave me a phone call. He was in Tulum with Matt Rosa and Janelli's on a honeymoon vacation with them, right? And he called me, he tells me, yo, KD, I'm flying some leaders out. Shout out to Katie because Katie was the one that called Nano and told Nano, yo, KD should be with them out there. Neno gave me a call on January 2nd. He was like, yo, happy New Year's, bro. I have some leaders flying out. And I was like, yeah, yeah, bro, I'll hit you up tomorrow. Right? Because he called the leaders already in the vision call. And I was like, yeah, yeah, bro, I'll call you tomorrow. Right? I was heated because I wasn't invited. Right? But long story short, called me the third. Blew my phone up. Mind you, I had distractions. I was doing things that I wasn't supposed to do. And I'm not going to share them here on this call. But I was doing things that I wasn't supposed to do. I was hanging out with the wrong people. And I was just being Mr. Nice Guy, helping one of my brothers out. And Nano called me right before I left the house. And Nano tells me, he's like, yo, he just finished doing mornings with Nano. And mind you, I didn't hop on mornings with Nano for a minute. And I hopped on mornings with Nano this day. And he was talking about New Year resolutions and the whole nine goals. He calls me right after the call. His spirit was telling him to call me. He calls me. He's like, yo, KD, um, I'm having some leaders come through. I know I told you, but you hung up on me, bro. But I want you to come, bro. Um, I'm like, yeah, yeah, bro. I'll hit you up later. I got to go run a play real quick. Boom. Hung up on him. He calls me back. He's like, yo, I told you, bro. I want you to pull up. Instantly, something told me to go to my room, right? Went to my room. I looked at the fly. I had like $500 to my name. And I'm like, yo, bro, I don't even know if I can make it. Look at the flights. They're mad expensive. He's like, how much is it, bro? Check right now. I checked. The flight was 450 He told me to fly out that weekend. I flew out the next day because I knew that that was the phone call I needed. That it was like, yo, it's time. And that phone call, I received it. I decided to make the decision to go all in into this business. Darwin picks me up at the airport in Arizona. I flew out. All the leaders are there. Right. We went out to eat. 
And this is where my journey really started in this business. I was a Platinum 150 when I got there. I hit Platinum 1000, but I lost it. I went all the way down to Platinum 150. This is restructured for me, right? I want you guys to take a screenshot of this morning routine. I started to work on myself 2021 spiritually. I started to work on leadership. I started to focus on KD, the higher version of KD here today speaking to you. This version of myself, me right here, right now, this is what I saw this day right here. He gave us a day to settle in. Next day, it was about to be Monday. This is Sunday, right? We made the schedule right here. We woke up, thank prayer, meditation, hit the gym, journal, mornings with nano visualization, trading with Moshe. This is like sniper sessions, right? International call with Natalia. Natalia used to have a team call every single day at 12 afternoon, at, at, at noon. Millie Mills, go live, go eat, boom, HFX Foundation. 2021 mentorship, running the play. I decided to go on massive mode 2021, building a whole new team, teaching them how to compound their account, launching people. Every single day I was enrolling new people into the business. I was launching them. Then I, this is my schedule every single day. 5 p.m., it was my break time where I used to go and prospect in person in Arizona. I was in Arizona for 60 days, January all the way to March, right? I ran this play for 60 days nonstop. 60 days nonstop. Ran the play, ran the play, ran the play. Events, 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 events. Content, 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 content. Boom. I decided to make a decision, and I started climbing mountains. Spiritual levels started going crazy. Right. Next event, it was where I met my sister Natalia right here. March 25th, 2021. I met my sister Natalia. I brought about 13 people from my squad. I was back at P1000. Right. I was back at P1000 here at this time. I think I de ranked at this convention. I was a Platinum 600 <clears throat> when I met Natalia. Um, stayed with Natalia for like four, four days. Um, I had my own Airbnb, but the Airbnb was stupid lit. Looking, boom, right? I always had my own Airbnb. I always had my own thing. Yeah, this is KD wearing a suit. Yep. Boom. This event, I made so many connections. I learned so much. I even cried at this event because after this event, Wilson, I really made the decision to bury my old life for my new life. And I made that decision right here. Where is it? This night right here. Damn, I don't even got the picture to show you guys. But this day right here, I made the decision. Oh, yeah, right here. Boom. This Natalia and Nano made the decision that they were like, yo, let's go on tour. I decided to go on tour with my mentors. I decided to go follow their journey. They were going on tour for the next six months. And I was like, bro, I'm with it. Let's go. I had started to invest into myself, mind you, right? I have two cars. Let me, let me, let, let, let me stop. I know I'm talking a lot about my story, but I got a training for you, right? Who's getting value so far? Y'all getting value? Because y'all seen me from zero to where I'm at, right? I'm showing you the whole journey. So you guys can see, man, for real, right? So think, think about this, right? I had a home, I had two cars, right? I had an apartment. I have a storage room with all my clothes and all my clothing brand stuff. And I say, you know what? Let me bury all of that. Who here would take a leap of faith like that for their mentors? Legit, I say, yo, you know what? Forget about all that and let's start fresh. <clears throat> That's what I did. That's why my journey is a little bit different than a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? That's why, my, that's why I hustle the way that I hustle, man, because I made a decision that I was like, you know what? I'm going to bury my old life and I'm going to step into my new life. And I really did that. I was about my word, right? I walked away. We traveled the whole world right here. Boom. This is the picture right here. This picture right here, April 3rd, about 23 days before I turned 26 years old, right? 26 years young, I made the decision to go all in into this business. April 3rd, I was a Platinum 600 right here, but I was making a chairman check trading in HFX. You guys heard that, right? I was a Platinum 600, but I was making chairman checks on HFX. 100% <laughs> with you. That's how I was able to walk away and make it happen, right? 
There's a lot of us that are trading in our demos accounts right now. There's a lot of us that are trading right now just to trade. Guess what? Trade to invest into yourself. That's what I started to do. This whole trip, you know, yes, I think Nano, I think Natalia, but they didn't, they didn't, they didn't tell me, yo, this is how much this is. I got you. I got you. No, they had me with their value, but it was all on me. I made it happen. Right. Went on tour. I'm just going to skip through all these pictures. Went on tour, tour, tour. As you guys see, right, I wouldn't, you know, no income claims, right? But as you guys see, right, this is all my trades. This is all my trades. Showing you guys withdrawals, right? I wouldn't lie to you. This is how I made it happen, right? We stayed at a dope Airbnb close to the ocean. This is when I started having spiritual awakenings. Things started going my way. I went out, I turned, boom, 26. And I was like, man, this is the year. 26, this is what I did for myself. Where is it? 26 right here. I was grinding. I was staying at the Intercontinental in Miami, but I was grinding though. I didn't even go out for my birthday, nothing. I met a leader that came in here into my business. This night I met um, a leader from Puerto Rico. She came in, brought 50 plus people into my business, got me back into Platinum 1000, right? I decided to move out, go back on tour with Neno and Natalia to finish our tour out. We went out, we we came back. This is when Sheba hit. Sheba changed my life at this event. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. May 2021, Sheba changed my life when I started investing into crypto. And, you know, started growing the business, started really going crazy, working on my brand. Now I got a leader started in Puerto Rico. She goes out, his, has a similar journey to me, P600, boom, P1000. Shout out to my brother, Xavier, for letting me stay at his house in Arizona as I was launching this business and also opened up an office with banks. He was a chairman 250 here within our company. I decided to have an office in here where my team could go and grow. Mind you, I only had two people on my team here. I my, oh, actually, my, I, this is when I met Dean and I really he didn't really get started until later on when I went to Puerto Rico that summer. And you know, I got to learn from Puerto Rico, from the Puerto Rican team. This is Sheka. She's a chairman. She was a chairman 10 within our platform. You know, I got to learn a lot from my brother. Um, What's his name? C. John. He's some pictures right here. Right. I got to learn a lot from him. I went and this is when I met a uh, pastor Collins. This is when I got his mentorship. And this is I know you guys remember Pastor Collins, right? So this is when I met him. When I met Pastor Collins, as the journey started to go, I was just doing the things on my own of everything that Nano and Natalia taught me. I decided to go back and link up with them in Miami for the, um, this is Trade House event. This is I Am Millennials 3. I was in a boot camp with Manny Quinones, Millie Mills. You had to enroll 22 people in a month to be able to get into this, this convention right here. This actually happened in Kissimmee, Orlando. And I was in there in a lock-in for seven days with them, getting trained on FR on Forex, getting trained on a boot camp. And it was just lit. You see more withdrawals, right? <laughs> more, more making trades in minutes. It was, it was next level. It was next level for real. For real. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It was it was a different experience. Um, from this day, you know, I locked in. I went into Puerto Rico that summer. Yeah, this is when Chan got started in the business. We were popping ranks left and right in Puerto Rico. Right. I decided to invest into myself that summer and I flew out to Puerto Rico. I was in Puerto Rico for a month. July 4th, I went and locked in with my brother, Mike Navarrete. You guys may know him. You guys may not know him. I'm educator. As soon as I got there to Puerto Rico, they saw me. They're like, yo, what are you doing here, bro? <laughs> and I was like, yo, I'm out here launching. He's like, yo, come on, link up with us. I linked up everybody from Puerto Rico with, the, with their team. So then we, that's when we got introduced into Forex to starting trading in MetaTrader 4. As you guys see, experience with our team. Started really launching this, right? Mind you, I'm doing this alone now. I went on tour with Nano. I went on tour with Natalia, but now I decided to go do it myself. Go hit the road myself with my team. Every city that I have a person on my team, I went to them. I started investing into you guys. I started like, yo, I need to teach them in person because there's a lot of people that are just like me that don't know this, right? Grew this organization in Puerto Rico to 50, almost 100 people in a matter of three, four months. And then we decided to move into Miami. This is when I moved into Miami. This is my room, had my walls. And now this is my solitude time. 
July, I got the opportunity to move into Miami, which it was a blessing, right? Moved into Miami. When we moved into Miami with Nano and Natalia, I started just grinding. This is when like the spiritual work started to come in. I hit my year in the business. Well, then we went to another event in Dickey's Arena. I hit my first, this is my first year, year, year in the business, right? Hit it. And it was amazing. I got connected with all the top educators within the platform, got connected with all the top chairmen. Now they knew who I was. And then here in this moment, you know, I came back to Miami. Here in this moment, I was super close to Platinum, Platinum 2000. And I lost my organization due to HFX, due to, um, due to HFX, due to the lack of just not having um, a duplicatable system, not having leaders. It was just all KD. Like everybody was related on KD. Everybody just relayed on KD, 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 KD. Like it was, it was, it was a journey, man. And, you know, from this moment, I decided, you know, to really just sit back, enjoy Miami for a little bit. And, you know, I decided to just create new things. Another leader joined our business. This was actually our first seven figure earner that made a million dollars in the trading. My brother, Daniel, um, I went out, I stayed with him for almost a month in Chicago, never been to Chicago in my life. Went to Chicago, we launched his business. He hit P150, but he just wanted to focus on trading. And that's when I really took trading serious. We had another event in Houston, Texas. Um, this event right here brought my squad to it, went back to Miami. And in Miami, I got invited to go to a private event with my brother, Daniel, um, my brother, uh, my brother right here, damn, I, I can't even think right now. But yeah, so I got to meet Emily. I got access to her mentorship. She's one of the top network marketers in the world. I actually have her personal number. Every two months, I have a personal call with her. You know, she she mentors me. She coaches me um, in everything in business and life and network marketing. Um, I connected with one of the top, top leaders, Jesse Lee, one of the top salesman women in the world. Um, I don't have her person. I have a personal number, but I haven't shot my shot yet with her. But we connect on Instagram all the time. And, you know, this is like I told you, it was Daniel's birthday. And he invited me to a private, private um, mastermind with him in his house. Yeah, invited me to a private mastermind at his house. And I had a conversation with him here at this event. And at this event, when I had a conversation with Daniel G, he I asked him, I, was, I told him about my whole story. And after this conversation I had with him at this event, it shaped me up for the person that I became this year. And, you know, that conversation I had with him, he told me straight up, he said, bro, just be a savage. Don't look for flowers. Don't look for rewards. Just be a savage, bro. How can KD be a savage? And he asked me, he told me that as he's like, yo, what do you really want? Are you doing this just to do this? Look all the things that you went through. You failed in business and look at the person that you have become, bro. Like, look at it. Look what you have done. Look at the door that you have opened. And I took myself, and, and this is something that I want to share with you guys, is that I took myself from the ranks and I started focusing on myself. Like, what am I gonna do with Dario that joins my business? What am I gonna do with Johnny that joins my business? What am I gonna do with Manny that joined my business? What am I gonna do with Cedric? What am I gonna do with Ashley? What am I gonna do with Dean that joins my business? From that day, and I started really to see like a bigger picture of what exactly I really wanted to do. Yeah. I started to really see, someone said in the chat, don't leave. I'm not leaving, bro. I'm not doing this call because I'm leaving. <laughs> Right, I'm doing this because I'm putting the backpack on every single one of you guys to see that how I made this happen, right? And, you know, I got to do another call here in a little bit. I'm late to it, but I want them to hear this too, right? And, you know, within that journey, how I made all this happen, I just looked at what am I going to do with everybody that joins my business? This is bigger than that. I just, I am Mastery Academy. Yes, we learn about trading here. Yes, we learn about investing here. Yes, we learn about e-commerce. But I'm also, I want to be able to share memories with all, all, every single one of you guys. I'm not doing this to just tell you guys, like, yeah, I'm doing it just to do it. No, I'm doing this to leave a legacy behind. I'm really doing this to build entrepreneurship academies all over the world. That doesn't matter what you do or what you did in the past. You could come into this and become that full entrepreneur. Because I was an entrepreneur that made it just of the strength of just me doing it. I wasn't an entrepreneur that had a mentor, had a coach at the beginning. Now I have all of that. 
And I want you guys to know that a mentor and a coach is someone that has your support and has your assistance, has your support to push you to levels that you never reached before, that believes in you more than you believe in yourself. And not only that, guys, right? Also gives you the resistance so you could be able to hit levels that you never hit before. And that's my story. You know, that's really, really my story, how I've been able to make this happen from zero to 100, right? And I'm actually going to give you guys this here real quick. If you guys got value just of my story, like, damn, that's some value in the chat box, right? Because that's my story. I had things in motion before I came into this. But before I made this happen, I had to start asking myself certain questions, right? I had to start asking myself certain questions. I started asking myself, like, yo, am I happy where I'm at right now? And I want you guys to ask these questions. Take a screenshot of this. These are the questions that I ask the people in my business and the people before they join my business. Are you happy where you're at right now? Do you believe you can get to where you want to get to? Constantly doing what you're doing right now. Probably not, right? So that's the questions that I ask myself. I thought I spoke to Daniel G. He told me straight up, what's up? He said, how bad do you want to change your life, bro? And when he was talking to me, I, he told me straight up, he's like, bro, I'm talking to you from my heart because you remind me of me. It was his birthday at his private mansion, his private house. He was having this conversation with me. One-on-one -on -one conversation, speaking to, to me, like straight up. And he asked me this question. I'm going to ask you guys this question. Will you change yourself if you find a better way? You have to have the ability to adapt. That's what he told me. And I use this same script with the people in my business. I use the same script whenever I feel stuck. I use this same script right here whenever I feel like things are not going my way. I'm giving you the script here so you can use it right now, right? Then he asked me, have you decided to put your foot down to make a change? 99% of the people make an agreement, but we need to make a decision. 100% with you. Have you decided yet to put your foot down? A lot of you guys haven't decided yet. And I know that because of the actions that you're taking, the questions you're asking me, the silly things that you're doing in the chat, the silly things that you're doing. I know that, that you haven't made the decision yet. But remember, 99% of the people make an agreement. They'll sign up. They'll, they'll make it happen. But we need to make a decision. And I'm going to tell you straight up. I don't worry about everything else. That all, everything is going to fall into place once you make the decision. And it's true. And these are the seven things. These are the seven things that I decided to do to get myself right. Once I made that decision, I told you guys, I walked away from having that old life lit. I had a house. I had two cars. Boom. I had a storage room. I was like, yo, I don't need those silly things. I need me right now. This is the door for me to hit levels that I never hit in my life before. Trust me, as soon as I made that decision, crypto changed my life. I made the most money I've ever made in my life in crypto in a matter of two days. Trading. <laughs> That's another story for another day. Now, e-commerce. I have my biggest month this month in e-commerce. And I've been doing e-commerce for the last four months. I'm not throwing shots at you and telling you this. I'm just showing you who am I. This is the leader that you're following. You feel me? You're not just following somebody that's doing this for the moment and a distraction, a flashy obstacle comes and they go do it and then they come and tell you about it to do it with them. No, that's not me. You're following someone that is committed. And these are the seven things that I did. Number one, I asked questions, right? Before I made that decision that night, before I hopped on that plane and booked my ticket to go on a six month tour with Neno Natalia, I asked questions. Guess what? You might be here on this call. Ask me the questions. I know Ashley, she asked me the questions. Dean, he asked me the questions every single day. Questions, deep questions, longevity questions. Ask me the questions. Emma, she asks me the questions every day. That I ask with you. A lot of you guys don't ask the questions. Ask the right questions. Number two, you got to forgive yourself. What do I mean forgive? Not write a letter to yourself and write a forgiveness letter and burn it. Ooh, no, nah, you got to forgive yourself. Let go of all that trauma that you went through. Let go of all the hatred that you had in your life. Let go of just everything. 
forgive, know how to forgive, because when you know how to forgive, you start to receive. And that's powerful right there, because I started to forgive. I started to forgive everything that was around me. Everyone that ever did me wrong, everyone that ever left my business, everyone that is in a room right now talking crazy about me. I started to just be forgiveness. It's cool, bro, right? It's cool. Not taking things personally. And you know what I started to do right after that? And I showed you guys that within my story, January 5th, I started to start getting prepared. I started to prepare for this life that I want. We all drop sevens all the time. We all drop six figures all the time. We all drop seven figure dreams. Guess what? I'm doing seven figure actions. I'm doing seven figure things because I started to prepare myself like that. There's a lot of leaders that you're following that won't be vulnerable with you like I am here on this call. I'm telling you, you just got to know who you're following. I'm real with you. I'm real with my team. I'm real with my family. I am. Because this is bigger than just I am to me. On everything I love, this is bigger than just I am to me. Prepare. Right now, you being here on this call, you're getting prepared on exactly what to do and what to execute within this part of your journey, right? Because you could be able to have other businesses outside of I am. Yes, you can. But this is what I'm preparing you for, for you to have the biggest year of your life. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I see who sees that they're going to have a big, a big, a big, big year, a big move, a big change in their life. 2023. I see it. Drop it some 2023s in the chat box if you do, because I see that. I feel it every day I wake up. I'm like, yo, bro, damn, it's getting closer. I got to get more work done. Let's get it for real. Right. Like Q texts me all the time. Yo, put the seatbelt on KD. I'm putting that seatbelt on every day. Every day I'm putting that seatbelt on because I know what's coming. I'm getting prepared every single day. So I'm telling you guys, get prepared, right? Because when, prepar when you're prepared, guess what? The opportunity comes to you. I was prepared. Natalia, Nano, boom. That day I was prepared. If I wasn't prepared, I would have went over my head. KD would have had a whole different journey. You probably would have not been on this call today if KD, if KD wasn't prepared. I was prepared and the opportunity came. And what did I do? I trusted this whole timing. This whole timing, what happened? From August, all the way until now, not from August, from March, all the way until now, look how woken I've gotten in this journey. Look how much I've been able to accomplish within this journey because I'm trusting my timing. My timing is only right. And I don't want you to be on this call and just be like, damn, Kitty, you, you already got me bored, bro. No, I want you to be on your toes and be like, damn, I gotta trust my timing because I'm trusting my timing. I'm trusting the people that are pushing this rock with me. And those are my mentors because I know the people that I'm following and the people that I'm learning from, I'm learning from some other person that they're learning from another person, 100%. Look what Natalia was able to create. Different, right? That's <laughs> my mentor right there. Look what Nano has been able to create for himself. That's my mentor right there. You feel me? Look at the people that your, your coach and your leader is learning from. Set six thing that I did, I connected with my creator. You don't need to believe in the same things that I believe, but there is a belief. You, got to, you, got, you get to believe on the unseen. That's what I started to do within my journey. I put God up first. That's my creator. You can believe in what you believe, but connect with him. Connect with your creator. Connect with the unseen. Connect with the unseen. Seven, you know what the last thing I did? I signed in my contract. Why? Because, yes, I'm meditating. I'm praying every single day. But what did I do? I put him on my business. Every call that I do, everything that I do is within my creator. Look, we stood strong on this call here today. Because everybody here is locked in. Everybody here sees the same vision that I see. Everybody here is seeking for the same information. Now all you need to do is sign that contract with your creator. I signed the contract to my creator with my business. I signed my contract with my creator with everything that I do. If, it, if it's coming from source, bet. It's coming from source, copy. I'll listen to it. I'll apply it, yep. This call right here came from source. 
I told you, I was meditating. I took a shower. Boom. It told me, yo, talk about your journey, your story. The people that are with you right now, they need to see what you exactly been able to accomplish. How you went from zero to 100. How you were able to not have a job and still make this happen by building the business, by building your trading account, by building your investment, by preparing yourself to put yourself to the opportunity. That's what I did. And boom, made it happen. That's the secret. You just got to make it happen. Canada, oh boy, Canada was a challenge. Sheesh. And I knew it was going to be a challenge, but it was the best decision that I made. And because I used my support system, because I used, and I, and I decided not use, right? I don't want to use use, but I decided to communicate with some people that are very close to me. Canada was able to happen for me. And because I was prepared, I've been able to receive all the blessings that is here. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting to? Right? Now, this is the biggest thing that I want you guys all to take with this new year. Right here, right now. Right? This right here. Four things that you should do all 2023. Do something more. Do something less. Start doing something. Stop doing something. And you know what? Decide to do everything every single day. And what do I mean by that? Right? What do I mean by that? Right? Do something more. What do I mean by that? Do something more. Do something more, guys. Every single one of you guys is a hack away from the, from the things that you guys want. A hack away. And what do I mean a hack? It's a ground ball away from achieving the things that you want. The more you do, the more you can do. What do I do more of, KD? Guess what? Do a little bit more studying. Do a little bit more back testing. Do a little bit more of working on your store. Do a little bit more of actually listening to the right information and applying it. And you know what I want every single one of you guys to do this year? Keep track of everything you're doing every single day. Keep track of it. Because that's what I've been doing. And it's been helping me every single day. Today, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't do shit. Why? Because I didn't put no numbers up. I didn't make no sales on my store. I caught some lessons in my trading account. But it's cool. But you know what the biggest thing that I did? This call. And you know what's the second biggest thing that I did? I connected with everybody within this team. We had a fire call today. If you guys were on that call, guess what? We did more today. I gave you guys the blueprint. You guys saw, damn, look at that legendary play that Chris Reef just, just gave KD. Now, let's go into do something less, right? What do you want to cut out of what you're doing right now? You want to spend less time in bed. You want to spend less time procrastinating. You want to spend less time getting angry. People talk, bro. People out here been telling me like, yo, bro, why are you so happy, bro? I'm like, yo, I'm breathing, right? Why am I not so happy? I'm breathing. When you leave, when you live a life in anger, you're always angry. Even your food is angry at you. It gives you a stomach ache. Be happy, man. Life is all we have and life is all we need. You're living today. There's someone that didn't wake up today. For real. I saw one of the happiest friends of mine pass away yesterday. Most happy. You guys thought I was happy? I saw the most happiest person in the world pass two days ago. I got the news yesterday. Her house burned down. Rest in peace, Mackenzie. One of my closest friends like this in high school. Most happiest person you could ever meet. She didn't wake up two days ago. So why are you mad? Why are you angry? Why are you getting so mad at certain things? I get it. Life may not be going your way, but guess what? The more that you stress on and the more that you think about those things, the more that those things are not going to happen. And that's what I learned within this journey. 
do something less. I stop being angry. I stop hating. I stop this. I stop. I don't hate nobody. I love everybody. But you see the, the vocabulary, what I had to switch, I had to change my environment. So you got to ask yourself, what am I doing right now that I got to do less? Start reflecting on these things, right? Start doing something. That's the next thing that I gave you. Start doing something. You don't have to see the entire staircase to just take the first step, right? You don't. Shout out to Martin Luther King. That's Martin Luther King quote. Start with the S3. What is the S3? Small, small, small. Small steps, small, 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 <laughs> damn, simple, small steps. It's my fault. I could have let that out. S3, simple, small steps every single day. Every single day, take a single step. That's all I'm doing 2023. 2023 is the Jordan year. I'm focused up. I'm taking little, small steps every single day. I'm keeping track of everything. Ask yourself, what do you want to start new this year? This event happening in March. Are you pulling up? The people that were here already with me, are you pulling up to the same event the same way that you looked in, in September out here in Arizona? Or are you pulling up different? I'm going to be honest. I, I had this conversation with Mauricio last night and Emma. I told them straight up. I'm like, yo, bro, yeah, everybody thought, oh, KD, KD, KD. Nah, bro, now it's different. 2023, I'm, I'm going to be in speaking engagements. People are going to call me to go speak at different events, at different events. I'm going to be now a person that's going to speak at, at conventions, right? That's the vision that I got for myself. You may be here on this call like, damn, what? Yeah, guess what? My vision got bigger, but I got to become more, right? And that's all I'm doing right now. That's why I'm here in Canada. That's why I'm giving the first, the first four or five months to y'all. Wherever you're at, I'm at. Head first, I'm there, but I'm making one commitment. And I'm telling you guys here on this call for everybody that stayed. I just, I just got a house in Dominican Republic. I'll be moving there either February or March. Now, I've been telling some of you guys to get your passports, right? Now I'm going to see who's really serious that wants to actually work and, and grind and, and go crazy with KD. Guess what? Come to Dominican Republic. Let's go grind. Let's go work, right? Let's go launch. There's no more backpack life. Mind you, look, everything that I've been able to accomplish just without being locked in and solid to myself. Crazy, right? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. But now look what's going to happen now. 2023 is that year. In March, April, that's the gift that I gave myself. You guys have three, four months with me. I'm going to be on the road, 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 road. But now I'm locked in, focused. I had a real conversation with myself. I had to ask myself the same thing that I just gave you right here. Do something more of. Do something less of. Start doing something. Stop doing something. <laughs> Decide to do something every single day. Stop doing something. Stop talking about it. Just take action. That's what I wrote down for that one. What is something that you're doing that's hurting you right now, KD? That's a question I ask myself. What's taken away from your goals right now? What is the thing that you're complaining the most about? <laughs> That's a big one right there, All right? What's the benefit that you get from stopping? You know how many times I started something this year and I stopped? You know how many times I, I had this... Yo, momentum, let's go. And because someone in the room thought something negative of what I'm doing, I stopped it. You know how many times that happened? A lot of times. But there's no more to that, right? Because this is the model that I'm living in. Say no to good, but say yes to great. I say no to good. No, I'm good. To gray, I say yes. This is my greatness right here, me. And you guys are following the right person right now. And the last thing that I have for you is honor the things that we're doing right now. Honor the things.
that you have right in front of you. This call, honor it. This call, honor it. Because this call right here gave you the message that you need. This call right here gave you the access, showed you like, damn, that could be me. You know how I did it? I focused up. I actually started becoming a product of the product, right? And this is what I got for you. You, you can motivate a person with words. Yeah, you can. Woo, right? I put this on, I put this on Instagram on my last caption. You can motivate. You can motivate people with words, but you can inspire them with action. That's what I live by. I can motivate you with words, but I can inspire you with the action that I'm taking. Then you tell them how you did it, and that's the education. Shout out to my brother David that gave me this quote. And this is the quote that I've been living by. And this is the quote that I'm going to leave you guys with for the remaining of this video. And not only that, guys, but thank you for watching this video. Thank you for taking the time to be here. Thank you for taking the time. Drop some 777s in the chat box if you got some value of this call, right? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Drop some value, some 777s if you got value of this call. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's go.